I'm not going to tell you who to meet, and I'm not going to tell you what to read. I'm going to tell you something that I heard Charlie Tremendous Jones say on a tape many years ago, and I know that it's true. I've seen it verified in my life. I thank Tracy Jones for keeping this alive for all of us, and it's this. You're going to be the same person in five years, except for two things, the books you read and the people you meet. And those two things are really within your power to decide. I would include with those books the things that you listen to, the lectures you attend, the webinars you participate in, the podcasts that go in your ear, the videos you watch on YouTube, or Vimeo, or wherever you get your videos, the entertainment that you entertain into your life, all of these, your input, but especially what you put your eyes on and read. Uh, whether you're reading online, many of us are reading our books online, we're reading journals online, we're reading blogs online, we're reading uh, articles online. They're right on our screen. And a world of great literature is available to us. We have never lived in a time where we had so many options, both good and bad, both healthy and unhealthy, and in the continuum in between, to read, to absorb, to consider, to take in information that can be life-affirming or life-denying. But you read will change you over the next one year, two years, three, four, and five years, and for the rest of your life. It's shaping you and the people you meet. You say, well, I'm, I'm living in my house, I'm working in my house, and I'm restricted. This COVID has, has shut us down, and even when we meet someone in the market, we have masks on. doesn't matter. There has also never been a time in the history of humanity when you had more opportunities to meet people and to have meaningful discussions with them. Maybe you don't have as much small talk. Or maybe you are doing small talk here. But you know, small talk is small. And great talk is big, gigantic, or as Charlie would say, tremendous. We can have meaningful, in-depth conversations with people that we may not even have hope of meeting in person. I can't tell you how many people I have met online because I wanted to meet them, because I connected with them, because I reached out to them, because I read something interesting they wrote or I heard a lecture that they gave online, and I said, this is an interesting person. I'd like to have more conversation with them. And so I reached out, and I found they reached back. You can choose in these two areas, what you read and the people you meet. And it will shape you, change you, and you, in turn, my friend, that I am so happy that I've met, and we're meeting right now, you, in turn, will change the world. Have an amazing day.